Let's talk equipment. Great. Right? This, this, we got, we got a lot of equipment here, but you do need this equipment. You yeah. need most of it. Yeah. You need most of it for sure. So one of the things when you get started, you need something to build your handles with, right? So they don't come where they go on the rod blank and they're perfectly formed, right? If you're using cork in particular, mm -hmm. they come with a common di inner diameter and you have to ream it out. So you need something like an extreme reamer uh, to move a lot of material. You could also chuck it up into a power drill. Nice. Um, and that's when you really want to start. One of the things to keep in mind, you want to start with the smallest and work your way to the largest. Huh. You don't want to just force right. the drilling process. You're going to break the natural material of cork. Um, right down to once you get close and you just need some, some finer edges cut out mm -hmm. inside the handle, we have a grit reamer. Um, and that's kind of what you need to, uh, you know, move the material from the handles. Once you get into the, you know, guide wrapping and things like that, you need something to put the thread over the guide. So you need some kind of hand wrapper. Uh, this is a hand wrapper by CRB on an aluminum base station. And this allows you to move along the, the guide train, if you yeah. will, without repositioning everything. Like this is a really nice one, but you have a lot of different options. Yeah, I mean, for the hand wrapper, this is by far the best selling. It comes mm -hmm. with a number of, of neat features, uh, in particular, this tension rod here. And uh, later we'll, we'll show how to wrap the guides. But yeah. uh, what that allows you to do is actually wrap and reverse the direction of your wrap without oh, yeah. the thread coming undone. So uh, that's a good one. And then you need eventually something to put epoxy on and dry it. So. We have the disposals, paint brushes, we have an epoxy mixer. You can certainly stir it manually, mm -hmm. but having an epoxy mixer actually mix it for you, reduces bubbles, extends the life of, of the epoxy. Uh, typically you have to start applying it 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. It's kind of that, that window where it starts tacking up a little sure. bit. And that, that's really cool. That gets rid of the bubbles. And I looked online and it's like 30 some bucks. Yeah. You know, so pretty affordable. Yeah. yeah. Everything actually is pretty affordable. Yeah. You notice, you know, rod building isn't uh, what it was 20 years ago when you buy a custom rod and somebody has all the markups in it. You know, mm -hmm. we have kits that range from as little as $10 all the way up to $600. Yeah. And literally every price point in between. Yeah. Uh, the more you buy it once, the more of a discount you get, right? Because yeah. uh, you're buying it all at once. So um, some other things you need is like a, a rod dryer. Right, so the butt of the end of the rod goes into here, mm -hmm. lay across your supports. It spins the rod as you apply the epoxy, and the rod will actually stay in the rod dryer overnight with most epoxies. It's, uh, it gets tacky within six and, and 10 hours, you know, mm. tacky to the touch. Mm -hmm. But you, you know, we recommend keeping it to the fear, full cure time of you know, 24 hours, something like that, before you go fishing with it. But uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different products from tape to the disposables, the mixing sticks and uh, thread cutters. But, you know, it it's really boils down to maybe the best way to get started is just get a little kit like this. You know, it literally comes with everything you need to finish a rod, all the epoxy, the mixing, disposables. And this is about nine bucks at muddle.com. Yeah. So, you know, if you, if you go and, and you look at the different kits, it's probably the best way to get started. You get a good price point, but you at least need something to wrap your guides, to dry your guides, and to handle the material in your handle assemblies. Yeah. Those are the key things. Well, I gotta ask you, what's this? <laughs> this guy is uh, this gun looking thing. Comes with a real seat. It actually goes, once oh, you yeah. have the handle assemblies in place and you're lining up the guides, this actually goes in the reel seat and shoots out a laser along the rod blank. Sweet. So all you have to do is the laser on, that's uh, showing up on the rod blank, that's where you put your guides, and then you wrap over them, and they're perfectly straight every time. I knew so, I liked the looks of that thing. Yeah, it is yeah. cool. It's the CRB laser alignment tool. <laughs> uh, it's actually quite a great seller because Good. of the ease of use for it. Sure, so. yeah. But it's easy to get started, you know, just, uh, you know, get a hand wrapper, a rod dryer, or a few consumables to uh, put all the epoxy on and cut your thread or, or just go shopping for a kit. Yeah, exactly. Nope, that's, that's the stuff. Well, let's get building. All right. Awesome.